all and welcome back to tournament 17 the first runner in this episode is going to be sauron sucks aka saltron 97 let's see how he can do he beat the dome steps now he's on to the long jump and he is past that now it's the double hill drop makes the first one now the second one which is harder than the previous one and he makes that one now the ring slider and he's beaten that now the warped wall the first one 14 and a half feet tall can't get up it up it now this one 14 feet 10 inches tall And he's up that one now, the flying shoot. Let's see how he can do here, and he makes it. Now the final obstacle. The cargo climb. And he clears with 14 seconds left. And now our next competitor to take on this course this is some red dude I'm trying to get a close look at his armor there's a lot of people with red armor I believe that this is Atlantic Champ. Wait a second. No, it's not. This is Smokey, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is Smokey. Yep, this is Smokey. Okay. It took me a little bit because so many people have red armor. Smokey achieved Kanzen Seiha in the last tournament. Now he's on the final obstacle, the cargo climb. And oh, he walked off the side. Smokey's out. And now our next competitor, this is Flame Vortex 03. Forgot how he did in the last tournament. I don't know. He's been pretty doing pretty good recently making it to stage two a couple times in a row but anyways now he's on the double hill drop now the ring slider and he's beating that now onto the double warped wall right up the first one time for the second right up that one as well he just demolished both of those now the hill drop makes the dismount just the cargo climb remaining can flame be our next finisher ooh almost jumps over it and it looks like flames gonna do it he clears with 18 seconds left And here's our next competitor. This is Atlantic Champ. He's another one of the all-stars, and you can see him shooting Talking King there. This tournament, we're going to see every all-star except for Weapon Matt. He doesn't compete much anymore. He'll show up every once in, an every once in a while. But, um, how can Atlantic do? Atlantic Champ, um, used to be considered one of the best. He was, um getting constant first place finishes and even achieved Kanzen Seiha in tournament 12 but since then hasn't done too well but in the last tournament he did put up a good performance getting to stage 3 but even though he got to stage 3 he was the um the person that failed the earliest on stage 3 I believe five people got there and he fell on the third obstacle and no one else failed on that or before that 
but he got to stage 3, which is still impressive, and he's right up the second warped wall now. Flying shoot. And he's past that. Now the cargo climb. And Atlantic Champ clears with 17 seconds left on the clock. And now our final runner this episode, this is DHD Fireball. He was also considered one of the best back in around the same time as Atlantic. Tournaments like 9 through 12, him and Atlantic were the best two. The big question was which one of them was going to be the one that won, him or Atlantic. And Atlantic ended up doing it. Since then, Fireball has not um, returned to that. Um, same skill level. He hasn't made it back to stage 3, I don't believe. Um, had a miss on the warped wall. Misses again here. Can he get up on his third try? Yes, he will. Now this next warped wall, this one's 4 inches taller. Ooh, so close on that one. And he's up it now. Onto the flying chute. And he's beaten that. Now the cargo climb. This obstacle has proven it can be difficult. It took out Smokey, who's probably the best jumper in all of Halo. But Fireball is going to do it. And he clears with 14 seconds left. <laughs>